scarlet blaze. The struggle commences. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king, while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodlan still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. People of Fodlan, the Empire will stand by no longer. Together, we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Fodlan as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose. And they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted, and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The Empire has severed herself from their hypocrisy by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garigmach from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Gressfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false Church of Seros. The past two years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendelle from power. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Seros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, why the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor Count Varley. It could not have happened to a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arundel. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did, and thank you for coming. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers' Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths life laid out for us. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! I was working hard at staying in my room, but still... Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garig Mach in the coming days. Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, and wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. 
And as it has been some time since Adrestia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you, and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with a life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, your majesty. I'm always ready. Plus, it's good to know I haven't been training this hard for nothing. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Just you wait. I'm gonna hurdle clean over those high hopes and show you what I can really do. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that... New Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand? Kindly lead the commanding, and naming, to me. That is all. Ah. Hmm. You should hear this.
What can I do for you? Listen to this. Quite. Please. Good day. <laughs> we will succeed. Greetings, friend. Nothing to report. Anyway... That reminds me... Actually... What do you think? What is it? Yes. Look who has arrived. As it happens. That reminds me. Uh-huh.
Well? Let's see. Gotcha. Did you need something? Not happening. Oh. That reminds me. Right. May I have a word? Indeed. Do you have a moment? What do you think? You see? If 
if you would. Well, how'd it go? Results a good result. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Welcome. Come back soon. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Acceptable, I suppose. This power will serve me in the times to come. A new power is now being mine. I must make the most of this ability. One step at a time. Let this power go unused. Hope this is good for something. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. For the fate of Fodlan. One cannot achieve victory without challenge.
My potential is so much greater. Can't wait to see how you do. Which battlefield are you headed to? Understood. starts now. My heart beats. I will gladly handle this. Allow me to work with you. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who... For Lady Edelgard. I will accompany you. Once you're dead, you're a breather. Starting the mission. 
Is that an old? Not a problem. From losing this. to anyone. We can overcome any hardship, including this one. <laughs> Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. That should suffice. Bend the knee. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're starting the mission. Is that an order? My turn? All would be lost if I were to die here. Time to make a name for ourselves. I can still fight! This grows troublesome. Let's fight as one. Sequential. Well, would you look at that? I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, not bad. Step at a time. The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy, and will reach Garrig Mach within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for a siege. We sent the bulk of the knights away last month, after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. 
the forces that remain are thin at best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. Look at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrick Mach. Never! Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the Southern Church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrig Mach is the true prize she seeks. Worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fodlan. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mach. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place. Have a moment. Hmm. Would you do something for me? to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I'm glad I'm paired with you, Manuela. So glad that I'm even excited to be working. Yes, it reminds me of our days in the opera company. 
But this time, you finally get to see I can do more than just strut about the stage. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. No. Did you really? Oh, you did. This is my absolute favorite. Thank you. How did you know this was my favorite? I thank you deeply. By the way, this. We have a duty to fulfill. I fight for 
for my land of home. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Ferdinand rides! We must use... Begin. Our teamwork is... So... What should I do? Sure, let's try it. Right then. Let's... Swiftness to reach our ally in time. There's never a disadvantage with me around. I don't know how long I can hold up. Help me, please. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. A rousing success. You like that? Let us use this for the glory of our army. Let us begin. Any final words? Perhaps we will incorporate this territory into our future stratagems. You're finished! I feel no mercy. There is not a moment to wait! Right then. Let's... I will see my... Sure! Well, this'll be amazing! Objective fulfilled. There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Right then. Let us go to work. Stand down. That was easy. I will capture this stronghold. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. It is done. will shift the situation in our favor. Right, thanks. <laughs> there is not a... Leave this to me. So... What should I be doing again? Let's go to work. <laughs> 
Watches over me. Stand back. You shall pay for this. You hear? to go. War feeds my body and mind. I'll use this strength to perform mighty deeds. Another chapter in the Caspar Saga. This power will serve me in the times to come. I work to grow. Can't let this power go unused. Might I borrow you? Well, well. Don't let me down. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service.
Uh huh. Yes. Could use the help. For the future that's yet to come. You don't expect me to go out there and fight! Another step toward victory. Defeat is not an option! None will... It's Bernie's time to... Sure hope begin. The Sky Spirit watches... Here I go. They must stand between us and the bright new future I envision. I will do all that I can. Your punishment! Don't you? So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Stay out of my way. 
Let us approach this methodically. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Sure hope this goes okay. Are you sure? <laughs> My support. Mm, yes. Tastes more bitter than blackest coffee. I can't believe that worked. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. Now. Where to next? Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle this. Order. We have your back. Watch. I will gladly handle orders received. They must all take so this is defeat. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now what do we do? <laughs> I 
Secure. I defy you. I'm ready. Take Victory is ours. I won't let this stand in the way of my love. Future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. Who knew this power slept within? Thank you. 